There is often confusion surrounding why certain Muslims choose to join violent groups such as Hamas, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, despite the fact that they claim to follow a peaceful religion like Islam. It is important to address this misconception by examining the teachings of Prophet Muhammad towards non-Muslims, especially the Jews, in Medina. By doing so, we can shed light on the violent teachings within Islam and encourage people to reject them. Ibn Sunayna, a Jewish merchant residing in Medina, was highly regarded by the locals due to his amiable nature. Good morning, what can I do for you? Good morning to you too. Can we buy some breads? Sure, I have plenty of them. Ibn Sunayna had established a harmonious relationship with the Arab community. Regrettably, this amicable situation is on the verge of undergoing a swift transformation. Prophet Muhammad harbored animosity towards the Jews due to their refusal to acknowledge his prophethood and their audacity to openly deny his legitimacy as a true prophet. This resentment was evident when he urged his followers during a Friday prayer to fulfill his malevolent intentions. Whoever of the Jews falls into your hands, kill him. This order came after the successful murder of a Jew named Ka'b ibn al-Ashraf ordered by Prophet Muhammad, after which he gained enormous self-confidence because the Jews didn't retaliate. The failure to retaliate apparently became an encouragement for more violence. Let's read the history of Tabari, volume 7, page 97, on how the Muslims felt about the killing and the reaction of the Jews. The next morning, the Jews were in a state of fear on account of our attack upon the enemy of God, which is Kab bin al-Ashraf, and there was not a Jew there but feared for his life. This explains that the Muslims were very proud with their violent actions that caused all Jews in Medina to feel very scared. But this extreme stage of fear didn't satisfy Prophet Muhammad. He upscaled his torment toward the Jews. The Messenger of God said, Whoever of the Jews falls into your hands, kill him. This is an order from a sadistic person, and he is the role model of Muslims. This is Muhaisa bin Masood. He is a very devout Muslim, who will do anything that Prophet Muhammad asked him to do. He left the mosque after the prayer. I have to please Allah, by obeying the Prophet's order to kill the Jews. Good afternoon, O Ibn Masid. Oh, good afternoon to you too, O Ibn Sunayna. How is your business today? Oh, thank you for asking. It's very good. <laughs> Die you infidel. May Allah please with your blood, you filthy kafir. I better run away now. His non-Muslim older brother, Huayiza bin Masood, was in the house. What happened with you? Why do you look so scared? I just killed Ibn Sunayna. What? Why did you kill him? Because Razalullah told me to do so. Have you really killed him? Yes. I killed him. By Allah, you have much fat in your belly from his wealth. By Allah, if he who commanded me to kill him had commanded me to kill you, I would have cut off your head. 
What, if Muhammad had ordered you to kill me, you would have killed me? Yes, by Allah, if he had ordered me to kill you, I would have cut off your head. By Allah, a faith which has brought you this is indeed a marvel. Since then Huayza accepted Islam. What can we learn from this story? The story teaches us that Muhayisa blindly followed Prophet Muhammad's orders, even if they were considered evil, believing them to be Allah's command. He disregarded his own mind and common sense in order to please Allah and followed Islam without question. Initially, Muhayisa's brother Huayisa was angry at the murder committed by Muhayisa against Ibn Sunayna. However, his anger stemmed not from having a high character, but from losing the benefits of a kind-hearted Jewish traitor. Huayiza is actually someone who enjoys violence and craves power. When he saw the power and influence that came with absolute compliance to Muhammad, he immediately converted to Islam. This pattern is also seen in the formation of Hamas and other terrorist groups. Those who have a love for violence and a thirst for power are easily drawn to join these violent groups, as they adhere to brutal Islamic teachings. On the other hand, those who value peace and possess common sense firmly reject it.